Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Naminga, and today I have a review for you guys. I know you guys love reviews uh, because it helps you save. Basically, it helps you like estimate your budget and stuff like that, so that you don't make a mistake. Yeah, but I really don't like it when I have to review something that didn't go well for me. <laughs> yeah, I've already sold it; it didn't go well for me, but. Yeah, I'm still gonna do it for you guys so that at least you can just get the gist of something, yeah? First of all, I'm going to review this Likud Ginsen Snail Eye Cream, which looks like this. And if you haven't seen the unboxing for that video, I'm going to link it up here. Yeah, I did a whole unboxing for this specific brand, which is a Chinese brand. And it is their snail collagen cream line. Sna not snail collagen cream, but snail collagen line. And uh, I think the first product is actually this Ginsen snail um, eye cream that I'm going to review for you guys. And the first thing that I have to say, guys, is that why is it that all eye creams do not go well for me? I can't be the only one in the world, honestly. I know they normally say that you should do a patch test for everything. But I'm going to explain why um, I feel that they just don't go well. It's not that I'm allergic to them. Uh, a while back, I was using the L'Oreal Revitalift Eye Cream. And I was, anytime I would use it, the few times, yeah, I used it a few times, I guess, like five times or something of the sort. Anytime I would use it, my eyes would tear. It's like literally, it's hydrating your eyes by pulling water from your tear glands you know or from your whatever your eyes it's hydrating the skin around your eyelid and the skin around your eyes through your eye itself i don't know if you can get what i'm trying to say because it was literally like pulling the tears out of my tear glands so i would just tear up and why i'm saying this is so weird is that at the same time I was also using the L'Oreal. I know this is not a review of L'Oreal. It's just a by the way. Uh, at the same time, I was using that L'Oreal eye cream. I was also using their serum, the Revitalift serum. And I started applying that serum around my eyes. And it never ever had an issue at all at all. Whenever I'd apply the serum, my eyes would be okay. Uh, but I'm not saying that you apply the serum around your eyes. It might be written that it's not for the eyes, but it would not react with my eyes. But anytime I'd use the so-called eye cream, like I would not stand the day. Either I'll end up itching my eyes. Uh, and not that my eyes become itchy, but they become so like um, uncomfortable and watery and all that. Now, the reason I say that is because this is the exact same thing that actually happened with this Lyco Ginseng Snail Eye Cream. I've applied it three times, only three times. The first time I applied it, my eyes were literally stinging in terms of not a reaction, but stinging like also pulling water from my tear glands. And my, they wouldn't sting, stinging is the wrong word, but it would like make me teary. And I thought it was maybe just me. But I tried the second time again. Same, same feeling. But the second time, at least I could withstand it throughout the day. The third time I applied it, I just vowed I'm not going to apply it again. Because um, I think I'll just apply it around my fine lines. Because after all, if it is good for the eye, I think it is good around here. And it is even good for your skin. Because... I tend to think that the eye is the most sensitive part of your body. So um, it didn't go well for me, guys. It made me so teary and I'm so disappointed because it was a really big bottle. I was really, really teary. I don't know if I'm the only one who normally gets this. Tell me in the comment section if you've ever used eye cream, if you normally get teary. But it's not the first time. And yeah, I guess it might be me also, but... Why is it that when I apply a serum around my eyes, I don't get teary? But when I apply the eye creams, I get teary. Anyway, maybe there's an ingredient inside the eye creams that I'm allergic to. Who knows? But um, I'm yet to find an eye cream that doesn't make me teary. 
sir, it made my eyes better. Honestly, I can't give you an opinion on that because I used it only three times, you know. Yeah. So the next thing that I'm going to be reviewing is the snail serum. Now, this one is still unopened, but I did use the other one. There were two if you watched that unboxing. Uh, what I can say about this snail serum is actually that it didn't go well for me, honestly, because I didn't see much of a difference in my skin. And I unfortunately, the, the difference that I saw was negative. I got acne. But, you know, in order for you to say whether a product is the one that has affected you or not, all other factors should be constant. So, yeah, I guess all other factors were constant. I didn't change my diet. I didn't add anything extra to my uh, skincare regime or anything of the sort but if you look at my skin you can even tell rashes have appeared like micro rashes yeah doesn't look good up close does it but I can't say I attribute it to this but uh, it happened when I started using this so I'm really disappointed but, you know, as they always say, my skin is not the same as yours. So you can definitely give it a try because I'm assuming that with prolonged usage, it will do what it promises, which is provide moisture and nutrients, effectively shrink the rough pores, repair dry and loose skin, and make your skin radiant and bright. Yeah, but that didn't happen for me, honestly. Okay. I know I've been like off YouTube. I took a break off YouTube, baby, like for one week. <laughs> yeah, and I felt really guilty about it, but I just had to sort some issues in my life that were personal issues. So, <sighs> yeah, I took that one week break. And then this is a French snail hyaluronic acid cream. Now, for a product that has hyaluronic acid, I have to say that it was working. The smell is overwhelming. That's one. And very common. But I used to apply it only at night because I felt like it was sort of like a thick cream. It's thickish. It's a thick cream. So I was only applying it at night. And I have to say that this, out of all these three products, this hyaluronic snail essence cream is the best because i would definitely wake up with my skin feeling tighter lighter, smoother although temporarily smooth but smoother yeah and tighter like plump yes that's how i would wake up anytime i'd apply this at night i chose to apply this at night because as i said it was a thick serum and i normally apply like five things in the morning so i thought I should not apply five things in the morning, including a thick serum. Not serum, thick cream, yeah? This is a cream, not a serum. So, yeah, I guess, guys, sorry if I'm sounding so bored or boring or what. A lot is happening in my life that I'm just having to get a grip on. Okay, no bad things, good things, actually, but... I had to take a break from YouTube at the time, but now I'm back, guys. I'm back, and I'm full swing back. Like, you guys are going to see my face. So why not subscribe? Because you're going to see my face a lot, a lot, a lot. And, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for persevering up to this point. Um, yeah, but generally, that's just my review of the Light Cool French snail hyaluronic acid snail essence cream the Lyco snail eye cream the Lyco snail serum and uh, it it was a i was pretty excited to try out their stuff and i think i'm going to try out their sakura range next because the snail range did not go so well for me but I'm yet to find a good eye cream. If you know one that doesn't make your tears come out or pull water from your tears to your eyelids, <laughs> let me know in the comment section because I'd truly really appreciate it.
Um, so thank you so much guys for watching. I'll truly appreciate uh no, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.